Have you been trying to lose weight, however, been feeling like you're hitting a wall? Or have you been losing weight and then you plateaued? Well, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the power of the 36-hour fast, the fast that will help you get rid of really resistant weight loss, the fast that will help you break any plateau, whether it be a plateau on one meal a day or the fast to help kickstart your weight loss journey. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Deanna Joy, and I've lost the majority of my weight eating one meal a day, which is just a fasting routine where you eat within a four-hour eating window after fasting for 20 hours a day, where you compress your calories within that small eating window. I lost most of my weight using keto, low-carb, high-protein kind of diets, and I made this transformation with one meal a day, and this is my overall weight loss journey. Finding fasting, making the metabolic switch, and finding these methods on my journey has been pivotal. Without OMAD, without extended fasting, without 36-hour fasting, without all of these tools, I don't think I would be able to make the transformation that I have made to this day and to continue losing weight. So if you're interested in learning about fasting, making the metabolic switch, make sure you hit that subscribe button and come join the fam. I have a lot of experience with fasting. I've been fasting since 2020. So I've gone through it all. I'm very nerdy. So when I fast, I would test my blood glucose levels. I would test my blood ketone level. So I'm very familiar with how fasting responds to the human body. And today I want to talk about how you can successfully complete the 36 hour power fast, whether this be your first time, whether you're fasting right now and need some motivation. So let's jump into it, shall we? Okay. To successfully complete a 36 hour fast, you need previous fasting experience. I highly recommend that you get to a 24-hour fast first. If you want to learn how to build your way up to a 24-hour fast, drop it in the comments below and I'll make a video on how to start fasting as a beginner. So once you have experience with intermittent fasting, OMAD, and whatnot, it's easy to jump into a 36-hour fast. Now keep this in mind. With the 36-hour fast, it is important to strategically plan when you are going to end your fast. I highly recommend ending your fast and starting your fast at a point where you know you will be already sleeping. What do I mean by that? So the 36-hour fast is the day and a half fast. So if you normally wake up at 6 a.m., you want to make sure that you end your fast or you begin your fast at at least 5 p.m. a day and a half before. So let's say right now it's Sunday. I want to jump into a 36-hour fast, which will end Tuesday morning. I normally wake up at 6 a.m. So right now, I'm going to make sure I get in my last meal by 5 p.m. And the reasoning behind this is because the easiest part of the 36-hour fast is when you fall asleep and wake up the next morning. You want to be able to wake up when you are done your fast. You don't want to wake up and then you have like two to three hours to go towards your fast fast. Now, if this does happen, it's not detrimental because usually first thing in the morning after completing a 24 hour plus fast, you're never really hungry. Hunger is not there, but just in case you might be hungry or just in case you're a newbie and you're new to fasting, I highly recommend doing this. It will just help motivate you the night before. Things to expect during a 36 hour fast. You need to expect that it will get hard around that 18 hour to 20 hour mark. It gets hard right after you fast for that amount of time. So right around dinner time, that's when it gets the hardest. This is what I highly recommend you do. Just go to bed, stay away from the kitchen, stay away from anything that might trigger you to eat or remind you of eating. Just stay away, go to bed, meditate, put on a cod podcast, maybe watch a show or a series that you haven't watched in a while if it doesn't trigger you to eat. Because I know when I watch my guilty pleasure TV, I usually want to eat with it. Maybe read a book or something, but just get away from the kitchen because you are going to be hungry. And I promise you those hungers 
passes in waves and all you got to do is go to bed. You wake up the next day and bam, you're done. You're fast. Now I'm going to talk about how to properly do this fast. Things you're allowed to have while you are fasting for 36 hours. Now this fasting method, it's a clean fast. I only do clean fasts on my channel. I will make exceptions, but clean fasting is the way to go because clean fasting is how you get yourself into autophagy, which is a process of your cells rejuvenating itself, detoxifying itself, and working to optimum cell mobility and ability so you're able to lose weight and not feel sluggish in the whole lot. So you want to be able to be in autophagy. So to guarantee autophagy, you can only have the following during a 36 hour fast. Number one, sparkling water. Number two, electrolytes without any artificial sweeteners. Number three, you can have lemon juice. Lemon juice meaning that you take a lemon, squeeze it yourself and drink it. Number three, you can have some cayenne pepper. Number four, you can have some herbal teas or caffeinated teas. And number five, you can have coffee while fasting. Now, in terms of supplements and stuff, like things like vitamin, maybe you take vitamin D or vitamin B2, you can take any vitamin that does not cause nausea without taking it with food. So for me personally, when I fast, I take my coenzyme Q10. I take my vitamin B2. I take my vitamin B12. I take my butter burr. I take my liver support. Um, supplements. I take serum peptidase. I take boron. I'm, I take any of those. That's fine. It will not break your fast. The next thing you want to ensure is that first thing in the morning, you want to take your electrolytes during that day that you are fasting for the full 24 hours. I highly recommend it taking it first thing because it's going to help to set your body up for the day and prepare it for fasting. I like to take my electrolytes with a hot cup of water because the hot water helps to soothe the stomach, it helps to soothe the digestive system, and it helps to keep hunger at bay. Now, the electrolytes I take, I take Element. You can make your own version of this. I have videos on it, but I'll go over it quickly. Take some sodium, potassium salt, and some sodium bicarbonate with some magnesium. I use Calm for magnesium. Sodium bicarbonate is just baking soda. And um, for sodium salt, I use Himalayan pink salt, or you can use Celtic sea salt, or you can use Himalayan pink salt, or, or I wanted to say Andrean pink salt. Any of that, you want to have a high quality salt. You just don't want to go for table salt. Next, things you want to avoid while doing your 36 hour fast. You want to avoid artificial sweeteners. You want to avoid anything with calories except your bay mate tea. That is a herbal tea that helps promote weight loss. It's from the heart, a holly plant. It is like four calories, but that's fine. I've taken it fasting and it's never pushed me out of ketosis or anything like that. But you don't want to take anything with calories. You don't want to take cream. You don't want to take artificial sweeteners. Even though artificial sweeteners don't have calories within it, Artificial sweeteners will spike your blood glucose levels. And if you spike your blood glu glu glucose levels, you'll kick yourself out of ketosis. And you need to stay in ketosis to keep yourself in a state of fat burning. We want to go after that stubborn belly fat. We want to go after that cholesterol, which is what the 36 hour fast is so good at doing. Because when we go after that stubborn belly fat and we go after that cholesterol, we allow our liver to heal itself. So our liver is able to do what it's meant to do, detoxify our body and help us burn that fat. This is kind of like the do's and don'ts with fasting. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment below. And if you made it this far into the video, just type in the word liver because this fast is about detoxing the liver so we can burn that fat, heal our bodies, and feel good about ourselves in mind, body, and spirit. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.